I know it's been a while. Above ground turtle pond. Those are nice. Three above ground ponds. Beautiful. These are nice size. A big variety. The red panda barbs. I have no idea what beautiful embu puffer. <laughs> Hello, Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything in the aquarium hobby. I know it's been a while since I've been here. Now, some of you guys have been leaving comments asking when I'm gonna make my way down this way. I'm in Yuba City, California at Geyser Pets, a family owned business that's been in business for, man, I wanna say about 25 years now. Geyser Pets is super unique. They carry something for every pet. Dogs, cats, birds. The guinea pigs are out. Hey, Mr. Guinea Pig, how's it going? How are you, buddy? Hmm? You doing okay? Yeah, look at they got guinea pigs here. They also have hamsters in here, which are nocturnal. They'll come out probably at night. And even reptiles. Check out this insane reptile wall they have here. Everything from chameleons to monitors to all different types of snakes. They even have turtles. Look at this bad boy here. I don't even know what kind of turtle this is. Ooh, they even have some more down over here. These are little guys. And look at these two little albino, I guess, red ear slider turtles. Yeah, that's what they look like. Now, one of the big main attractions here at Geyser Pets is right over my shoulder, right there. It's an 800 gallon community aquarium, which I don't know the last time I was here. It had to have been about maybe six, seven, eight months ago they have an imbu puffer in there and i haven't seen him he was a little guy i swear he was probably this big when i saw him so i'm super curious to see what he looks like now stay tuned we're going to check out that aquarium but what they're known for is this waterfall above ground pond which has koi fish and goldfish i'm going to flip the camera around i'm going to show you guys what it looks like wow this looks a lot different now we got a bunch of turtles in here with the fish so you can see the fish right there some koi fish we got some goldfish in there too some shubunkins but then look at all the turtles oh my gosh this is turning into a above ground turtle pond oh also look at all the plecos but look at these guys and we can get super up close and personal hi what's up buddies how's it going look at all these little ninja turtles look at these guys right here are these guys kissing yeah are you guys kissing <laughs> look at them so pretty so they have a bunch of red ear slider turtles i think these are red ear oh man is that a two-headed is that a two-headed turtle right here dude is this a two oh no oh i thought it was two-headed turtle oh sh duh one stacked on top of the other <laughs> from this angle right here it looked like a two-headed turtle <laughs> Anyways, you got all the turtles that have moved indoors. Maybe they moved them indoors because it's cold outside, but normally they're outside in the above ground ponds that they have out there. But it's kind of cool to see these guys up close and personal. I love it. Look at this guy. Hi, buddy. What's going on? Look at Mr. Pleco doing his Pleco thing. There's not one piece of algae in this aquarium. There's so many Plecos. Look at them. Hey buddy. Now we're outside here where they have these above ground ponds. As you can see, a lot of the water hyacinth, water lettuce is kind of dying out. It's been really cold here. Uh, this is where they keep a lot of the goldfish. They do have koi fish out here too as well as you can see them here. And then down over here is where the turtles were. The ones that are in there, they, they, they're usually in this above ground pond. So maybe they moved them in just because of the weather. Um, I don't really see any fish in here, but I don't know. As you can see, lots of water hyacinth. Um, kind of doing okay, not really dying. So there's nothing eating it. I can see their root system's really healthy. The sun is out, it's great weather. That's why I figured I'd come out here and show you guys the three above ground ponds that they have out here. So when you come to Geyser Pets, don't forget about the outside above ground ponds. Now Geyser Pets has a big selection of saltwater corals, uh, saltwater fish obviously, and also freshwater fish. So this section right here is full of all of their saltwater fish. As you can see, they have a nice collection. Some tangs in here, some angels too as well, some numerous different clown fish too. And check out these corals. Look at this aquarium with all these different types of corals in here. Oh, I like these right here. I don't even know what those are. Those are nice. But as you see, we move on to different aquariums here. They have a bunch of different corals. Look at them all. 
super cool. More corals, and then we turn the corner here, and this is all of their fresh water section here. Now this side here is usually like more of their, I would say non-aggressive, more community style fish. So you have like rainbows, you have uh, up here, you have guppies and platies, you have tetras in here, you have angelfish, uh, and then it kind of moves into like a semi-aggressive style type of fish. You got gouramis in here, pygmy gouramis. Oh, look at this beautiful ram, look at that. German blue ram, ooh, that right there is a cichlid. Beautiful though, huh? All my African cichlid lovers out there, they have a ton of African cichlids. So you got Mbuna up here, you have haps and peacocks too as well. Look at these beauties, huh? These are nice size, discus. They look super healthy too, look at them. Ooh, those look really nice. Oh, this is a cool aquarium, ton of different goldfish you got. Uh, Shubunkin goldfish in here, red cap orandas. You got black moors in here too as well. Look at that black moor right there. Look at them all causing a ruckus. And then below them, some more bigger Shubunkins. Nice, big size Shubunkins. We got some clown loaches in here too as well. I love these quarries. Are these skunk? Skunk quarries? I'm not sure exactly. I'm not a very, very good quarry expert. Um, but I do love me some corridors. They are pretty nice bottom feeder fish. So as you can see, they have a big variety of different types of fish. Oh, check out these. Nice little collection. You have some silver dollars in here. Silver dollars are nice size too. Look at them. Some nice size silver dollars in here. You got some convict cichlids, which is this striped color. They look like a convict in their uniform. And then of course you got some blood parrots hanging out in here. A nice size synodonis catfish. And then I also see Mr. Jack Dempsey hanging out right here. That's a nice Jack Dempsey cichlid too as well. Some nice ones. Yo, check out the needle nose gar. Look at that. That's a really cool fish. I know he's little. He's probably about five inches, but they do get pretty big. So make sure you have a big enough aquarium for this needle nose gar if you want a nice, cool looking fish. Uh, very prehistoric looking super quick too i've never seen this fish i had to ask austin what this fish was these right here are red panda barbs how cool is that fish look at that huh some really cool looking colors look at this one right here up close red panda barbs that is a cool looking fish look at them so pretty too They have red panda barbs here. Now, if you guys are into small little nano fish, this entire wall behind me here is devoted to the nano fish collection. Let me flip the camera on and show you guys what they got. Now, the cool thing about this section here is each individual aquarium is scaped a little different. So it gives it a different vibe, a different feel. Look at these beautiful female. Oh my gosh, what kind of bettas are those? I don't know what kind of bettos those are, but those things are super colorful. They're definitely female because they're all hanging out in here. But man, are those koi bettas? Maybe female koi bettas? Look at right next to them, there's some more right here in this aquarium. And then next to them on this side, some more. I think they are koi bettas. All females, you can't put two males in there because they'd be fighting like cats and dogs. But you can see, oh wow, look how pretty these are. These are called gold neon tetras. Look how pretty, look how pretty they look. See if we can focus, look at that. They have like a really cool pink, blue, teal face. Look at that, those are pretty. Gold neon tetras. All my guppy lovers out there, look at these black crown tails. These are males, look how pretty. Look at those guppies. Ooh, those are stunners. All my guppy lovers out there. I know you guys are foaming at the mouth right now. Whoa, you talk about guppies? Look at these stunners. I have no idea what they are, but they're gorgeous. Look at them. I almost want to get these and put them in my 10 gallon aquarium. Look at that. They're so pretty. The colors are so vibrant. Oh, look at these guppies here. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Man, I haven't really got this excited over guppies. Wow, look at this one. Is that a baby koi fish? What the heck? All I know, there's pygmy corridors in here. 
There's also, these are called purple Dumbo ears right here. Those are really cool. Purple Dumbo ear guppies. So pretty. I want to know what that fish is. That fish is really cool. That looks like a little baby koi fish, honestly. So, you know, they have a bunch of different types of guppies. I can sit here and go through every single aquarium of the different types and colors that they have. Um, but you guys can come here for yourself and check how beautiful these guppies are. Big variety. So, like I said, huge variety of nano fish, but I want to say more specifically geared towards a ton of different types of guppy fish. Now, as I walk through the store, they have a bunch of different types of scaping items. They also sell a wide variety of aquariums too. And this is one of the only stores here in town that I know of that sells used aquariums too. So they have some used aquariums that people will actually, you know, want to get rid of. They're done with the hobby, but they'll also come here, drop them off and they'll sell. Like look at this 30 tall, 99 bucks in great condition with the stand i mean come on quit playing now you guys know i'm not really a reptile guy but i kind of am um, at heart meaning i love chameleons they're like my favorite but check out these bearded dragons which are kind of the norm in the i want to say in the reptile hobby bearded dragons here oh check this out they have a little baby triceratops in here too look at that thing that thing is wild i haven't seen one of these in like i don't know never because it's a toy I'm just kidding with you guys. Now, this actually has leopard geckos in here. They're probably in their little home there. I don't see them, but I just thought I'd show you this little uh, <laughs> baby triceratops. It was just for fun. Okay, so what makes Geyser Pets so unique is two words, Levi and Radish. Levi is a Cuban iguana that just roams the store. And when I say roams the store, it's like seeing a dinosaur in the actual store. So you can turn the corner and go buy some dog food and next thing you know, you see this huge iguana just staring up at you. Harmless, doesn't bite. I think, I think Levi is like 23 going on 24 years old. He's about the same age as the store. Insane, I found him here. It's almost like a game when you come here. You wanna find Radish and Levi. Radish is a cherry head tortoise that kind of roams the store it's not super huge um and you gotta kind of watch where you're stepping but i found them both they're right here hanging out check it out. all right so this is levi just hanging out here look at him getting some rays under his heat lamp <laughs> you can see him just hanging out look at him dinosaur right and then you got radish look at that that's pretty cool right <laughs> And as you can see, there it is, Levi, the Cuban, oh, rock iguana. I left that part out. Then you got Radish, the cherry head tortoise. All right, enough about all that, okay? Let's go check out the 800 gallon community aquarium with, if we can find him, that beautiful Embu puffer. Check it out. Look at this monstrous acrylic aquarium look at the jungle valve just look at the scape alone don't even look for the fish all right look how long and tall that jungle valve is it's everywhere in here it literally goes up the tank and curves at the top of the surface now it's filled with all different types of fish i actually love the congo tetras look at them beautiful they're big too loaded with angel fish it looks like you have some ooh pearl scale koi angelfish in here which i absolutely love they even have wow they even have mbuna in here african cichlids i just noticed that wow they have mbuna in here oh my gosh look at i can't believe that african cichlids in here we got frontosa in here they have bershardi look at bershardi african cichlids right here they have a collection in here look at buffalo head cichlids right there oh wait a minute look who's right here the star of the show the embu puffer oh my gosh he's gotten big he's gotten big he was so tiny like when i say tiny he was probably half the size that he is now but the embu puffers here this is not even really a community tank this is kind of a semi-aggressive to aggressive aquarium wow look at the rainbows they have the rainbow fish right there look at them just scooting along man that is wild had no idea, had no idea. Well, you can see another frontosa there in the background, right in between the jungle val. Man, I was just talking to Austin. They said they, they just cleaned this aquarium up. So you see all this jungle valve that's in the front here? They actually pulled a lot of it up. 
and it opened it up. I love what they did with this rock scape in the back here corner. I was complimenting them on this scape area here with the rocks. I thought they literally did this. They didn't. The rocks were kind of over here, but this substrate was all flat. Look it, it's literally dug out to the very bottom of the acrylic aquarium. And he told me who did it. These guys right here, the buffalo head cichlids. They dug and dug and dug. This guy here and this guy here. I don't know if they were a breeding pair, but they're the ones who scaped this. So once they dug all that out, the rock slowly dropped down and configured this little scape here in the corner, which I think is super cool and unique. So you can see how the substrate drops and there's like literally a hole in the background. And I thought they scaped this here, the employees. I was like complimenting them. They go, oh, we didn't do it. Uh, the buffalo heads did. If you guys want buffalo heads, they are gonna rearrange your aquarium and do a pretty damn good job at it. Hey, good job, guys. Oh my gosh, look at the big pleco. I don't even know what kind of pleco that is. Wow, is that a rhino pleco? No, it's not a rhino pleco. I don't know, but there's a bunch of different plecos in here. This thing is huge. I love the angel fish though. Nice collection of angel fish here. Look at them. Mm -mm -mm. I can't get over the fact that there's a bunch of African cichlids in there. Oh my God, there's a shell dweller. Look at this. A shell dweller in here too as well. Oh gosh. They have all the lakes in here except I don't see peacocks or haps, which is smart. Um, but everything else looks like they're living in peace. I don't see any major chasing around. I'm sure there's territories in here. Whoa, 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 what is this? God, look how, oh, that's that's a Turkana jewel cichlid. So they got a Turkana jewel cichlid in here too as well. <laughs> that is wild, 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 wild. Another shell dweller hanging out. Yeah, this is an amazing aquarium. So if you guys ever come to Geyser Pets, you guys have to check out this 800 gallon acrylic semi-aggressive aquarium a different i mean all different types of cichlids i can just call this the cichlid aquarium and then embu puffer which is wild super cool absolutely love it okay my ohana so there you go geyser pets here in yuba city california 714 plumage street i'll have all the links down in the description below don't even worry about it anyways come on by check them out say hi to the whole crew here family owned business super nice you guys will enjoy it i'll see you guys on the next video take care much love and aloha.